Hey YouTube and RV fans, I just wanted to give you a glimpse as to um, the fact that I've moved into the rig. So let's take a look so you can see what my filled rig looks like. It's kind of exciting as a part of my uh, as a part of my move in and getting on the road. So um, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update today as well in terms of what's going on. But first, I wanted to show you what the rig looks like. So it's a little messy. Um, of course, you've already seen the TV, and I got my happy little plant, which really is not doing too well on the front. It's a low shade plant, so I'm going to have to uh, find a different place for that to live. So, but uh, as you can see, the dinette's all messed up. I've got all kinds of stuff here, like my my, uh, my toolbox. I've got my cabinets full of all kinds of stuff. So I still have some more room, which is good. Um, that's nice up here I've got my lunchbox for work which I can actually put that away now and uh, my bulletin boards up um, just finished making chili in the crock pot it was yum 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 so that's done in my cupboards I got all my stuff in again these um, these tops I got them at Dollar General for a dollar go figure and they have been really good in terms of um in terms of uh storing things i did bring glass with me as you can see i have some glass but i've also got some stuff that i can wrap around it when i start traveling so the glass shouldn't be too much of a trouble and of course i've got my pour over um coffee brewer which i've got to tell you i love this thing so i think i'll have the the link to that in the comments if you want to get one you can't beat it. It's only five bucks or something, so it's really awesome. Uh, let's see. In terms of the refrigerator, there's my Christmas card from the Nomadic Fanatic. That was cool. I really appreciated getting that from Eric. Uh, not much in groceries. Um, I, I do have ice cubes, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I'm getting there. I gotta. I guess I gotta get some groceries. Uh, the pantry. You know, pantry's getting there. I don't know if you can really see this. But I got some canned goods in there. I still have some nice space, but I really wanted to get something in there that was going to uh, secure stuff. And then over here, I've got... Uh, this is really going to be overflowed linen. So I still have some more linens that are in the washer right now that I need to pull up in here. I've got some uh, miscellaneous, I guess, Tupperware containers in there. Spices. Um, then down here, pots and pans. And in here, I've got some additional storage containers and then dishcloths and um uh pot holders thank you life and serenity um so that looks good and then of course in the bathroom which you know again from rv lady this was really awesome i love this thing um i put all my stuff in there and i don't really have to worry too much about uh um where it is especially putting it away so I have some minor stuff on the counter. Um, so, and the bathroom's pretty much set. And then of course, the bedroom's the big deal because it is a very small bedroom. And even though this camera makes it look big, it really isn't. It's very tight. You can see here, I can't squeeze in through here. But it's okay because I have my nice comfy mattress on there from my, my house bed, which is probably about five inches longer than uh, an RV queen is so at this stage of the game that's okay closets full um, very much full and I got my other clothes up in here and some more clothes up in this side the other side also has stuff that I'll never use so I don't know why I'm bringing it with me but I do have it just in case I need it um, I'm a just in case I need it kind of guy I guess so let's see I'm not going to show you the, the basement. Ah, yeah, actually I will. I'll show you the basement because that's the cool part of this. Um, I was able to put together a really nice um, garage in the basement. And um, I'll show that to you. Of course, it's probably locked. And it's not. Mm. Yay. So here's my basement garage. I've got all my tools in here and uh, chemicals and stuff like I need and uh, of course my new drill set thank you again life and serenity and I have a nice little container here for miscellaneous stuff 
So that seems to have worked out really well. Um, so, okay. So let me give you a quick update. Okay, so now I wanna go ahead and give you an update. The uh, last video I did um, was the six day countdown and then it came to a screeching halt because of the brakes. So I wanted to tell you where I'm at. Um, Pops and I have been successful in securing the parts. We've got a service center that's going to be putting the brakes in on Monday. So we get the brakes Friday, put them in Monday. There have been plenty of times with this brake saga that I can tell you that uh, it's tested my, uh, my uh, patience and my diligence in relationship to this RV lifestyle. But I also understand too that this is a part of it. You know, you're faced with challenges. You can't just throw in the towel and say, oh, I'm just gonna give up and um, you know, I'm just gonna stay in my house. Um, you know, there is none of that for me. Like I said in a, video, a couple videos before, you know, I'm all in and I am. And so I think that the brakes is the last huge issue um, and hopefully it will remain the last huge issue. I'd like to see me travel over the next year without too many maintenance issues with the rig. I think I've done quite a bit of repairs and you know, a lot of work to get the rig ready to go. So Pops is confident, I'm confident. Once the brakes are done, we're on the road. So um, no more countdowns. Uh, one day you'll see a video and I'm gonna be on the road. So, all right, well, thanks for watching guys. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video and please remember to subscribe. Thanks so much.